force is required to start a motion or to stop a motion or to change the condition of motion. This is what we have studied in laws of motion. When it comes to rotational motion, then again we need force. But here the application of force is in a different fashion. How do we apply force so that rotational motion develops? In rotational motion, what is the restriction? In the rotational motion, it is not necessary that the body is having a linear motion. At the one place, the fan is rotating, rotating, rotating. It is not moving in any direction. Okay, But to rotate it, we need the force. What type of motion we want to create? We want to create angular motion. This. Rotational means what? Angular motion. So, this vector or this direction makes angle with itself. Like this. And this angle goes on increasing. And this point, it is here. So, this motion, circular motion, rotational motion, it also has a name, angular motion. To create this angular motion, what we need is force and we give it a name, angular force. Now, is it a different type of force or it is the same force? Answer is the force is same. What we call the force, a push or a pull, that is force. Of course, now angular means what? See how it is applied to make a rotational motion. In fact, when we want to create a rotational motion, we want to rotate something. A single force cannot rotate a body. A single force cannot. We always need two forces. A single force will always make a linear motion. A net single force will create a linear motion. If we want to make a body rotate, then we need two force and under certain conditions. We call those two forces as couple of force. Couple of force. And what is the condition for this couple of force? See, so many conditions. There is one body which is required to be rotated. Couple of force means two equal and opposite forces applied at different points of a rigid body such that there is perpendicular distance between them, then they make couple of force. The effect of this couple of force is they will be able to rotate the body. We give the name to this effect and the name of that effect is torque. This is description of two forces. We have this rigid body with us. I apply one force here, up, one newton. I apply at a different point, one newton downward. These are two equal forces, opposite to each other in direction, equal but opposite acting at two different points and there is a perpendicular distance between them. They are not working in one line. There is a perpendicular distance between them. All these conditions have been met out. Then this will create a force and all of us are riding the bicycle and this is handle of the bicycle. What do I do? Force here, force here and it will turn. What is this? A rotational motion. So whenever we want to create a rotational motion, we always need two forces. Sure, two forces. A single force cannot rotate. If I have this single force here, it will move like this. This way. So a single force will create a linear motion. But if there are two opposite forces, this portion is taken up, this portion is taken down and the effect is rotation. So for rotation what we need a couple of force and this effect of couple of force, the turning effect of couple of force is known as torque. So for a torque there is a very brief description. What is torque? 
टॉर्क इज टर्निंग इफेक्ट ऑफ फोर्स ओके सो दिस इज टॉर्क वट इज फोर्स फोर्स इज समथिंग विच कैन चेंज द कंडीशन ऑफ मोशन विच मोशन लीनियर मोशन वट इज टॉर्क सेम थिंग सेम डेफिनेशन टॉर्क इज समथिंग विच कैन चेंज द कंडीशन ऑफ रोटेशनल मोशन how the rotational motion condition is changed answer if a body is not rotating it will make it rotate if a body is rotating it will make it stop it can increase the speed of rotation it can decrease the speed of rotation all these things are to be done by torque and what is torque torque is created by couple of force it is turning effect of force here i apply a force the object has not moved it has turned so this effect turning effect of force is known as torque now torque is more or less what type of quantity it is that we will see in the next topic this was just introduction of torque thank you